guys, this time on Deep Junk, we're going to do one of my favorites, a Ferrari 365 GTB Daytona Coupe. Um, I think it's just one of the, the best looking cars ever, and I'll explain a little bit more later, but um, I've had this one since new, and it's time to uh, pull out all the stops and give it uh, a ton of detail. Well, let's get at it. Ferrari apart, we've got, uh, I'm impressed, a very nice interior detail on the seats and the dash switches and stuff very nice very nice uh, the metal base I could not be happier with that diff detail the exhaust um, they did paint the front and rear um, you can call them a gravel guard or a valance whatever under the bumpers not a great job, but it, uh, it certainly looks better than Bear Zamac, so that is nice. One nice thing that they... And the body, um, I don't see, uh, of course, but you don't see through the thick red paint. Um, I've had the car since new, so it's not busted up or anything. Clear glass. Uh, so we'll see what it looks like after stripper. Already are. Ferrari is looking pretty good, really. All things considered, we've got the general clean up around the windows. Uh, the biggest thing was on the quarter panel back here, we've got casting line uh, that runs down there. It'll need smoothed out. And the same on this side. Um, it's built up a little higher. It doesn't, it's hard to see here. Uh, but because of the fuel filler door, uh, there's like a little build up right there. And uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Otherwise, around the rockers, uh, the hood up the front, in there, around that headlight detail underneath and stuff, but it's uh, looking pretty damn good, I would say. Right, uh, after my usual uh, go around with a file and a green scuff pad, a little sandpaper here and there, we're about ready to uh, wet sand and then uh, clean this and put some primer on it and see what we've got. Uh, we may even be painting this thing tonight. Uh, yeah, really not really not too bad um, it's looking halfway decent uh, still pretty dirty but we'll get all that uh, cleaned up the roof looks pretty good a tail panel a little back here yet behind that wheel all right over on the table here in the middle of all this mess as you guys can see tools laying out, we had sandpaper and the pin vise, uh, all the pill bottles over here, uh, but they are for keeping parts in. I drop each prod, uh, car, you know, the parts in there as I'm working on it and then I label it. There's for the Ferrari, it's probably backwards because I've got the thing flipped around, so trust me it says Ferrari. And there's one for a Nova and there's a, uh, what else got here, 55 Chevy. Speaking Ferrari it's it's in here somewhere there's our bodies in primer uh, it's ready for paint I'll probably wet sand this one more time uh, but that's uh, said over here We've got the interior I started working on it the dashboards up in it uh, the dashboards were black in these cars I'm using the, the tan interior did a uh, wash over the center of the seats so there's still plenty of detail to go with that and then the base metal base I like this um, but it's got those metal backings behind the wheels and I wanted to get rid of those so I've already pulled one uh, from the front here I just clipped it it really didn't get too close I'm gonna clip all four of them then I'll uh, I'll grind those down with the, the file so I don't go too far and then we'll polish a bunch of this underneath uh, these uh, the balances that are painted under here they'll get painted uh, when the car does too uh, keep that detail gotta keep that detail up and yeah, I, I, don't, uh, I don't have the cutoff wheel down here so I'm just been using my side cuts on these and anyway I I tend to I'll get up close to those uh, 
after I cut these off. Yeah. With the uh, file, and I'll do it by hand, and then that way, uh, I get a cutoff wheel in my hand. I tend sometimes tend to go too far on things, and then sometimes there's just no turning back, guys, since you go too far. It's kind of like when something slips out of your mouth, and your lady friend hears it. Whoopsie daisy. What I meant to say was, my you look lovely today. Okay. That clips down the big part of them. And then, uh, bust out the trusty file. Which is probably, well, it ain't even over here right now. <laughs> about that. Uh, and then we'll get to, uh, to polishing. We did get the Ferrari painted. Uh, guys, this is not the color that I was uh, wanting. This is not what I was after. Um, but in light of things that are going on, the place that I buy paint from, um, I, was, I will mix automotive colors to get stock colors, you know, factory colors. Uh, what I wanted to do this Ferrari in was a very bright red, uh, torch red, namely from a, uh, right around the 90... I don't know, 90s, early 90s, C4 Corvette was in torch red. They used torch red on the Lumina Eurosport, or yeah, Lumina. Lumina Eurosport had torch red on it. So uh, a very bright red. Uh, but uh, like I said, in light of things that are going on, the, the place that I deal with, he is closed temporarily. Um, I have no idea how long he's going to be closed, so I grabbed what I had. I had this in a, a red oxide primer, which darkened this color up some more. Um, we've seen the color before, but uh, it's been painted. Uh, turn signals are done. The front, the grill is done under here. And you can see the, the flip up headlights, they're done. Uh, little vents behind the windows. There's our turn signal and brake light. A little chrome piece above the license plate there the bottom the front and rear valance those were painted up also there's the front a uh, little polishing on these mufflers we'll get this a little bit more done so uh, the Ferrari is coming along I, I I hated that I couldn't get the color but uh, there's just nothing that can be done can't get mad at anybody All right we got the three major pieces ready to go back together in our Ferrari interior tub is done and detailed up looking pretty good the base we've got our valances back back and front painted mufflers are polished up cleaned up underneath uh, got our tires and wheels on they are glued into the base a little super glue action with some uh, baking soda there almost couldn't think of what I wanted to say which I do that all the time bodies ready to go the glass is installed We're ready to put this one together see you for the final reveal alrighty guys the Ferrari is all finished up here uh, this car I've had a few or I've got a few of the models uh, around in red and uh, in yellow and uh, I always loved this uh, Ferrari 365 GTB4 or, or Daytona, if you will, Daytona Coupe, Daytona Spider. I wouldn't call it the my. It's one of my favorite cars as far as looking cars. I would lump it right up to the top with a maybe a '63 to '67 Corvette, you know, mid-year vet, or a '68 to '70 Charger, and uh, maybe an E-Type Jag as being really good-looking cars, just sexy cars. The uh, my motivation for building this one was the wheel. I I saw these wheels on eBay. Um, Gary, I think believe the gentleman's name is Gary, the wheel guy, and uh, he had these uh, this wheel uh, in the uh, like the color with the red stripe and a uh, firestone wrapped around it, and I immediately had thought of this car um, to do 
a kind of what if, you know, there's a competition, you mix the competition Ferrari with the street Ferrari, um, because that's how I would drive one. I would drive a damn race car with license plates on it to work. So the wheel is where I got the, the, the motivation for this, and uh, I ordered them up, and when it come, I had wanted to paint the car a brighter red. I had a GM color torch red in mind from a C3 Corvette. That didn't work out because of pandemic and all this, the place I get paint through and, uh, and all my stuff like that is closed. So um, I shot this over a red oxide to get the, the red oxide primer to get the color to darken down a little bit because this color when it's brighter looks like a strawberry and I did not want that. Up around front, the place would never could see much up in there. There's detail when the car's apart with the headlights when they're folded down, and I cannot see that up in there. It kind of makes me mad because it's a nice detail when the, uh, the headlights are shut to be able to see those from the underside. The grill's black in there like it should be. We've done our uh, turn signals. Um, not a whole lot of detail on the outside of the car. Uh, the vents behind the quarter glass. Our brake lights and turn signals out back. And the trim piece up there where the uh, license plate would go. Holds the license plate lamp. Side view of from there, same as the other side, and up underneath, just cleaned it up, polished it up a little bit. Uh, North American cars like this one used a fold-up headlamp uh, because uh, the European cars had the the headlights behind uh, plexiglass covers up here on the front, and for whatever reason. North American Department of Transportation says no, so they build a, a pop-up headlamp system in it. Uh, and I really, I enjoy that. I like pop-up headlamps. It's a silly thing, but I, I like them. Uh, this car just, to me, now this says Ferrari. It, it, um, there are other cars, rear engine cars. Uh, F40s, you know, Enzos and that, they, they are Ferraris, but this is what I, when I think of Ferrari, this is what I automatically think of as a, uh, a 365 GTB4. Guys, I want to thank you all for uh, stopping and checking out the video. Um, I really appreciate it. I uh, appreciate the uh, people that are uh, subscribing. Um, the number, it continues to go up you know, every week, uh, and, and I really appreciate that. I thank you all for, for stopping in and checking out the car. We've got things coming up here, oh, it's uh, this month, through the month of May here, and uh, on into June, we've got some stuff going on, so uh, coming up on the 18th is Redline, uh, Redline Day, uh, the Redline uh, build brought to us by Diecast Outcast, that's going to be the 18th. Uh, it's a red line car that uh, is uh, restored or customized, but has to be somewhat something from a red line era. Uh, the 23rd is the Three Blind Mice built 66 Nova. We've got on the 25th, on Memorial Day, there's uh, five or six of us uh, leave from uh, Time Rider uh, Wee Little Cars, and uh, I believe George from uh, Hodges Hot Wheels and Diecast. And myself and a couple other guys, we have 64 Impals that we're doing. And then on into June, on the 13th, we've got, uh, again, the three, three Blind Mice build is, uh, they're going to have a special 50s build. So look for gassers and street rods and, and, and the such. Maybe some lead sleds thrown in there. Guys, this one, as much as I'd like to keep, I'm going to throw, uh, throw this one up on eBay. Wife seller 17 Stacy as always I just can't get fall in love with them um, the money goes does go back in the channel and uh, believe me I don't make any money at this um, 
even with the ads on here, my channel is small, it's never going to make any money at all, and I'm not going to um, go to the viewers uh, for it, it's, it's something that when I sell these, it's because um, now I'm offering something tangible, um, if you wish, you can go over and check the car out on eBay, you can bid on it, uh, you can buy it, and that way you know when, when you're spending money you're actually getting something in your in your hands I feel better that way um, it's uh, so that's why the cars end up over there on eBay and then truth is after I build one this is something I had in my head after I build it it's out of my head now I'm I've done what I wanted to do and these cars will then sit in a box somewhere so if someone digs the car and wants to have it in their collection that's awesome and so that's why those cars end up where they do. Again, guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.